Cruiserweight Championship, and he never got pinned. He never forfeited the match. He was just counted out, knocked out by the eight-bit luchador, Player Uno. And uh, just unexpected turn of events. I never, I never thought that Uno would do anything like that. But we're going to have more news about that. Don't you worry about it. And uh, coming up, ladies and gentlemen, after, right after this, seg uh, this segment of the Gone to the Gold, Kipwe Sariba of Swahili is making his way down here. So far, these two men are at an even pace. I don't know who's got the better half right now, but Kenan Jackson Jr. has got a special, and he's not afraid to use it. But Freak Show is very fast here tonight. Able to beat Curse, no problem as well. That's, that's amazing. Because Curse has made a bend, and Curse has won the big one. Now that he's losing to guys like Freak Show, something is up. Maybe there is hope for this Aqua Team Hunger superstar. I mean, he looks dead on. Never seen anything quite like it before, fans. But uh, this is fantasy pro wrestling. Anything can happen. Poke in the eyes of Ken and Jackson Jr. Look how technically sound Jackson Jr. is. Winding up the arm. And now going straight for the skull. The cranium. The bare skull of Freak Show. Turnbuckle dancing. Nice butterfly kick. Outstanding. Oh, look at this. Look at those kicks to the corner, right in the belly, right in the rib cage. And another one for good measure on the neck. Freak show is in the blue. Not me. Oh, holy cow. He was in the blue, his spirit was in the blue a moment ago, and now he's not, it's all changed. Look at the athleticism of Ken and Jackson Jr. Good grief! The audience is loving this. Oh. Off the ropes. Will he have Tom? No, he does not. Standing switch. Big stiff clothesline in the back of the skull of Kinnon. Huh. Holy man, these guys are going back and forth, killing each other here. Wait a second. Super kick! Right in the mouth! Right in the jaw! Off the ropes! He misses it! These guys are going way too fast for me, man. I can't even finish a full sentence without having them can do at least five moves in one shot. To the turnbuckle. A nice stiff jab did not do any much justice. As Kid and Jackson fights out of it, going for the pinfall, run the center of the ring, and only gets a two. Freak Show is still alive in this matchup, and he's going on the cover of his own. And Jackson Jr. fights out of it again, he's still alive. this? What's this turnbuckle dancing bullshit? Oh, here's a foot choke. Just 
pressing on in the neck, the throat, a freak show. Jackson now feeling good. He's got his special locked and looted. Wait a minute, Irish whip back countered. Up underneath. Ooh, a shove. Nice enough, but will he have time for his finisher? Wait a minute, what's this? Ten and out with the referee. Sky Stanley just put Ken and Jackson Jr. to the turnbuckle, allowing Freak Show to get the other the, to get the upper hand. The referee is not supposed to take part in the match physically, only to draw it down the line and do exactly do what he does right there and almost gets a three. That was beautiful. That Sunset flip with the power bomb to a sunset flip. Now Freak Show over the cover. There's the count. Freak Show gets two victories back to back. Here's your winner, the Freak. Freak Show gets two victories, and the coming up is Kibwe Suriba from Swahili. Alright, Kibwe Sariba, a.k.a. the Afro Man from Swahili. He's looking pretty frosty. He's looking pretty confident in himself. He may get a chance here. Sunset flip off the bat. Trying to pull a freak show off guard here. So far, it's been, it's been all freak show running in the gauntlet. Kibwe is the third superstar to compete in this gauntlet match. Colin Berry, once again, ladies and gentlemen, will be performing last. Since he did draw the number in that number generator a couple of weeks ago. And also, uh, a, few weeks, a few weeks back, we me I mentioned that uh, there, was a, there was consequences Dire consequences should any interference occur in the Bret Hart Brandon Wolf match. Uh, well, he did come out to distract both Bret Hart and Brandon Wolf, but never laid a finger. And because it's old now, it's been passed. The consequences for Paul and Barry will not result, will not result in doing any kind of suspension or even. Dismissal. He would have had to run the entire gauntlet, and if he did not, he would be removed from the main championship title picture. His best bet would, have, would, would be to compete in normal matches, but he would be away from the gauntlet title, he would be away from the universal title scene. God knows what would happen to him, but he would not get fired. We wouldn't want to fire anybody. We're encouraging all athletes to take part and participate, you know, be, be involved, get involved, get inside the skulls of your opponent, we want to have as many superstars in our pay-per-views as, as possible, not everyone gets to compete, so it's a privilege and, and, and a reward for all the hard work, especially a young man like Colin Berry, 24, 25 years old, a young man, you know, he played college football for his school. He was pretty much the captain of his team. Eliza Beth being the cheer captain of, because they went to the same school together. I, ironically enough, Eliza Beth and Colin Berry, a power couple to be reckoned with. But we made sure, ladies and gentlemen, that. When that main event happens, and believe you me, friends, that that main event's gonna happen momentarily, no outside interferences. We do understand that Bret Hart is not here. I repeat, Bret Hart is not here tonight as he is recuperating his health ever since he had that pancreatic cancer and all that treatment that went along with it. Bret needs to take care of himself and just stay out of the scene for a while. I do understand that Bret Hart has a great interest in wanting to wrestle. Oh 
my gosh! Kid Wee Serene 